In this morning's Health Watch, a story of a Portland man who was going blind. The man naturally thought he might need eye surgery, but as KPTV's Marilyn Deutsch tells us, it turns out the man needed brain surgery. 66-year-old Victor Musselman is an avid reader, but earlier this year he started having trouble reading, so he got stronger glasses. Yet within a few months, his eyesight again got worse. Oh, I would have gone blind. And his tumor actually started in this region here, and you could see this larger mass over here. Providence neurosurgeon Dan Rohr found a tumor was pushing on the base of Victor's brain and his optic nerve. Usually they start to lose uh, vision out in the outer fields uh, in both directions um, because as the tumor grows it pushes up on the visual pathway. By the end of June my eyesight really started to deteriorate. In fact, Victor was blind in his right eye and going blind in his left, but a new less invasive kind of brain surgery has restored Victor's eyesight. Using endoscopes and tiny tools, doctors went up Victor's nostrils through his sinuses and pulled out that tumor. They did so in Providence's special intraoperative magnetic resonance imaging suite, which allowed doctors to scan Victor's brain immediately after removing Victor's tumor. You could see that that large mass that was sitting up here is now gone. Tumors like Victor's located in the pituitary area of the brain are not all that uncommon. But most are not malignant. Victor's wasn't malignant either. Still, it was dangerous. Had doctors not operated in time, he could have gone blind for good. Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day, Oregon. For more information on the Providence Brain and Spine Institute and the diagnosis and treatment of these kinds of tumors, you can go to our website, kptv.com, and click on the Providence page.